Hello and welcome to the Maverick Diagnostics training video. In this video today we are going to cover the BMW AOS application called Casio. Casio is the key and service information system. With the Casio application this will allow you to create your online service history events. So to proceed simply log into your BMW AOS account, locate the Applications tab across the top and click on the Casio application. There are two methods of online service history creation. In this video we will cover both options. The first option will be a manual entry without a key reader device and the second option will be with the key reader interface. So to start application, navigate to the start option, click continue, and you will be presented with the information screen. Now for a manual entry, you will need to input the full vehicle chassis number. Once you've inputted the chassis number, hit the search option, and this will display the vehicle details. From the vehicle details screen, you will also be able to see a list of all previous histories at the bottom by simply clicking on the history tab. This will expand to show you all previous known events. From this screen, you can see all of the previous history events by simply clicking on the History tab, scrolling down the screen, and here we'll show your previous service histories that have been logged. You will note, obviously, the different colours. Obviously, the red ones denote items that have been changed that were past their due dates or mileages. Anything that was orange was due and anything in green denotes that the service item was okay. So you can see quick overview just by looking. Of course, all the ones with orange with ticks underneath are the items that you've recorded as being serviced. So to create a service entry without the key reader, locate the create new entry in the service history across the top of the screen underneath the VIN number. You will have to consent to storage data unless you've omitted the vehicle already from the system. Click accept. Please note in here, this is as this is a manual entry and you're not reading the key data, the mileage shown here will be the same as the last known mileage reading. So as you can see in the screen behind the window, the last known odometer reading is exactly the same. You will need, of course, to read the mileage from the vehicle yourself and convert that from miles into kilometres. It will need inputting in kilometres, although it will be displayed in miles further on when you view the history event. Service date, obviously, if you've serviced the vehicle within the last couple of days, you can change the service date. Unfortunately, you can't go too far back. Uh, and you can also use a maximum of 200 characters here to input any known remarks that you want um, noted by the vehicle, such as a quant uh, quality of oil, etc., or any any um, tire tread depth, any advisories really, or anything that you uh, might want to let the customer be aware of. Simply then click the continue option, and then here. As I say, because you're not reading it with the key reader, you do not see the remaining distances or the remaining service life left of each individual component. So upon this, what you will have to do is tick those manually. You can hover over each box and it will tell you what each option is. So the description there, second line down. So that's the engine oil change. That one there's the air filter. Onto the microfilter, spark plugs, front pads, brake fluid, rear pads, particle filter, 
vehicle check, etc., etc. Some of these icons will not be used. So again, just put a click. I'm just going to create an oil change and a front and rear pads just for the purpose of today's training. Now, if the vehicle supports transferring of the data um, electronically over the, over the air, so if it has a connected drive service contract in place, there is now an additional tick box that you can tick here to get that to transfer the, to transfer the service entry into the vehicle. If the vehicle doesn't have a teleservice coding contract in place, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to transfer the service history to the vehicle using the diagnostic tool. For further information on that, watch our other video on uh, ISTA. So when you're happy that you've selected all the items, click Create Entry. Now this is really important okay, to print the proof of maintenance here from this screen because once you've created it, you won't have the option to print it again. So print proof of maintenance, just confirmation of who you are that have done it and the vehicle details, etc. And of course, the, the fact that it's manually being inputted. Details down there. And then of course, then you have the print option here across the bottom of the screen. So it's worthwhile just printing, even if you're saving it to PDF. Okay, that has now created the service event. This is the teleservices we were talking about earlier with the additional tick box. So as you can see, we've got yes and yes in here. And you've got the service history via teleservices option. If that's set to yes, it will transfer it automatically to the vehicle without a diagnostic session needed. So just to see our entries being created, I will just refresh the page very quickly. Find the history tab. And you can then see the entry that we have literally just created. And there it is. As I said earlier, converted from kilometers into miles. Now this record will become a permanent record if, uh, if you do not delete it. So if you leave it uh, anything longer than seven days, it will become a permanent event. It's also worth noting as well that this particular entry can only be deleted by the created user. So you can't take it to any other workshop or anywhere else to have this event deleted. We're not wanting to create this as a permanent entry, so I shall just create, delete it now because I'll show you now how to create it with using the key reader device. Okay, so just as before, um, entry without a key reader, start the application, continue, and this time, instead of inputting the vehicle chassis number, simply place your key on the key reader, as shown in the small video attached. Once it has read the key, then you can select the little arrow that's in the very end column here, to proceed. This will show you the vehicle details and here it will show you the items that require servicing. In this particular instance there are no items that are required to be serviced but I will proceed just to show you how it's done. Same again, create the new entry in the service history record, consent and accept. Again, you don't really now need to worry about the mileage here because it's taken it directly from the key. Okay, all you would need to do is physically put any remarks or comments in that you require. Continue. Okay, you can see now the remaining distances, the remaining service life. And you'll probably note as well that there are, prob uh, there are a few less icons in here than a manual entry. Again, simply select what it is that you're servicing. So again, I'm just going to select the same as what we've done before. 
front and rear pads and an oil filter. Now there are generally associated components. So basically with this particular service or next service, those two items will be linked. Again, if the vehicle supports the transferring of the data, then simply put a tick in there and then create the event. I'm not wanting to store this as a permanent entry just right now. So create entry. And again, don't forget that print proof of maintenance. Exact same information as what we've seen as a manual entry. This time you can see here now that it's been done by key data as opposed to manually. And then simply hit the print option. Okay, quick refresh of the page. And again, just as we've seen previously by going down to the histories. You will see the latest event. This time you will note obviously that it's now color coded and that it's obviously been retrieved automatically as opposed to manually. And again, mileage in miles. Okay, um, just one last thing before we finish on here. There are some additional benefits of reading, um, looking at the Casio with a key reader. One of those is, if I scroll a little bit further up, you can see that you get eye level of vehicle, navigation information, you get add blue level. Um, there are also some dynamic vehicle data as well. Also as well, there, there are some check control messages. So basically what the dashboard has been telling the customer, things such as um, bulbs for failures, tire pressure monitoring warnings, um, washer fluid levels, etc., will all be displayed under the, under the check control messages. So anything that would normally be displayed in the instrument cluster as a warning to the customer to check and change things, those will all be displayed on, on here as well. So it can be quite useful from an educating customer perspective. Okay, and that's everything for today's video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.